Ladies and gents, we're jumping into another YouTube exclusive Voice of Nick episode of Sam and Max. Let's see if we can investigate the criminal's casino without getting shot. Wow, that was great. We're off to a good start here. I want to hear it again. This song is great. Wow. This song is great! How long is this song? Oh my god, I love it. I'm contemplating doing an entire episode of just me clicking that button and listening to that song. It's a rubber ducky ashtray. Leave it to the toy mafia to make smoking fun. Hello there, freaky bear head wearing card dealer. Hello, I'm Cuddly Bear. Wanna play cards? Oh. Does the carpet match the drapes? Wanna play cards? We asked first! Wanna play cards? Hmm. We're looking for someone who works here. Wanna play cards? Sounds like someone played a game of 52 card pickup and lost. We'd like to develop a gambling addiction, starting now. Well, what do we have here? I'd say the circus was in town. But I know for a fact they won't be here till next Friday. So you must be here to play cards. Depends. Who are we playing? The name's Steak Charmer. Leonard Steak Charmer. And let's just say I didn't rack up 10 million tokens by getting lucky. <laughs> How'd you get them then? By cheating? Look, Rabbit. Leonard Steak Charmer's no cheat. He's just that good. Okay, what's the game, Steak Charmer? Truest test of skill there is. Indian poker. How exactly does one play poker of the Indian persuasion? You know you're off to a good start when your opponent doesn't even know how to play. <laughs> you ever consider that we might be card sharks? Or shark sharks? You know, the kind that eat people for being overconfident? Whatever. Look, it's simple. Both get dealt a card which we put on our forehead without looking at it. So we can see each other's card, but not our own. Pretty sharp, McGruff. Don't call me that. <laughs> and you make a bet if you think you got the higher card, or fold if you want out. That's it? Yep. And we see who's got the highest card, and then I win, like always. Well, when you put it like that, we'd be fools not to play. <laughs> Leonard Steak Charmer, huh? You don't look like a Leonard Stink Charmer. Oh, yeah? What do I look like? You look more like, a uh, Boris Crinkle. <laughs> That's what everyone says. So are you a real Indian? Yeah, I'm a wooden Indian. As in, wouldn't bet against me if I was you. I'll kill him! Not yet. <laughs> How do you get anyone to gamble with you? Frankly, you seem shady. I offer great odds, and I possess a certain subtle charm. I hate to break it to you, but non-existent and subtle are two different things. <laughs> Maybe charm is a euphemism for gum disease. Look, I'm here to play poker. Are we going to get this dog and bunny show on the road, or what? Dog and bunny show. Leonard, you give new meaning to the phrase, a face only a mother could love. My mama said I was beautiful. Ah. Uh... Does the carpet match the drapes? No, it's stained with tobacco juice. 
Squalid, yet candid. Normally, I like that in a gambler. But for you, we'll make an exception. <laughs> We'd like to try our hand at a hand of Indian poker. You won't regret this, Hound. By which I mean, I won't regret this. Oh, and try any funny stuff with your partner and I'll shoot you both. That seems fair. I got 10 million tokens says I got a better card than you. I'm betting it all. Sweet second mortgages on a summer home. We can't match that. Tell you what, Pooch. I'm feeling so confident. I'll give you 10 million to one odds. <laughs> Just bet one token and you could win the whole pot. Those are mighty good odds. No, they ain't, deputy dog. Because I never lose. <laughs> so, you in or out? Let's try it. Sure, we'll bet a token. <laughs> Sorry, Rover. You lose. Stick Chama wins. Mama was wrong. Gambling does pay. I'd say better luck next time, but it'll take more than luck to beat me. Yeah, it'd take a sturdy oaken staff to really do the job. But we had an. I thought we had an ace. Maybe the ace counts as the lowest card? That's enough for now. Okay. Although I could have sworn you were a dog, not a chicken. A common mistake. <laughs> Can we talk to him about other stuff? Back for a little more public humiliation? Just a little more. We'll be back. Just remember to bring your money. What do we have here? Ace of spades. Oh. I'd rather not advertise the ace up my sleeve. Can I not use this? Oh wait, what if I hold it, hold it, hold it. Can I put the magnet? I'd rather keep it to myself. What if I put it in the rubber ducky? Nah, I don't want to haste that. I'd rather not advertise the ace up my sleeve. Could you use an extra ace? All our decks have five aces already. Keeps the players happier. I'm sure he'd be happy, but I'm not sure I would. Hmm. Buffet closed for semi-annual food change. <laughs> Sorry, Max. Ah. one-armed bandit. Insert token to play. You see that, Sam? It's a little play on the well-known colloquialism for slot machine. The fun just never stops at Teddy Bears. <laughs> Can I insert the token? Let's do it. Four on five. Sweet mother of bleary-eyed gambling addiction. We won. Yeah, we won, but there's no prize. You gotta hand it to Teddy Bear. He really puts the bandit in one-armed bandit. Hold it! What's the password? You may enter. Oh. We're gonna need that listening device. It's a rubber ducky ashtray. Leave it to the toy mafia to make smoking fun. Hmm. Hold it, mugs. <clears throat> Not mugs, Max. <laughs> I don't care if it's Teddy Ruxpin. No one gets in without a password. Oh, right. That would be what again? Why don't you tell me? Does the carpet match the drapes? I don't know. I set fire to the drapes. I love to watch things burn. Hey, me too! I'm sorry I asked. The password is swordfish. Nope. The password is rosebud. Nope. The password is 
Password? Nope. Bring me the head of Alfredo Garcia? Nope. I've come to Grandma's funeral? <laughs> nope. Who's on first? <laughs> nope. Who's your daddy? Nope. I am the Wallace? Nope. You remind me of this shopkeeper I know. Nope. <laughs> I give up. Will you let me in, please? Nope. Let us in. Only Toy Mafia allowed in. Not that there's any Mafia here. Okay, we'd like to sign up for the Toy Mafia, please. Talk to Chuckles. He's the head of Mafia admissions. Where's Chuckles? Right behind this door. This is what it would be like if Catch-22 had a meaner older brother. Look, I don't make the rules. I just blindly enforce them. Hmm. We'll be back. Like I care. Let's talk to Max. What are we doing here again? Losing all our money and reinforcing impulsive behavior? I mean, apart from that. I don't know. When we walked in here, we were talking about finding a mole with that code phrase, but I'm so simultaneously smitten by the lure of easy lucre and stricken by fear of innate failure, I can't really think straight. Where should we go from here? I don't know. If all the gaudy lights and chicanery weren't distracting me, I'd say go to where we're least wanted. You mean that back room with the guard and the restricted access? Actually, I meant the kitchen, but your idea is good too. <laughs> I like how they don't tell you directly what you're supposed to do. That's good. Heard any good passwords lately? No, but then I probably haven't been listening in the right places. Let's wallow in casino magic. I've got a couple of rabbit's feet for luck. Back for a little more public humiliation? Just a little more. Deal. All right. Fold. What, no 10 million token bet? Nope. I just always know when I got the lower card. Call it my sixth sense. Or seven, if you count my sense of humor. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> well, we're certainly never getting rich at this rate. That's enough for now. Okay. Although I could have sworn you were a dog, not a chicken. A common mistake. I got an idea. I think he's looking at a mirror over that way that shows him. You can see he's looking past us. So I think the mirror shows him what his card is. So maybe if we stick the ace on the mirror, if we can find it, then we will hmm, make him think he has an ace. Oh, maybe it's the clown nose. Maybe he's looking at the clown nose reflection. Teddy Bear's original meatball sandwich. Looks tasty. The original Teddy Bear made this original meatball sandwich with his own two paws in 1957. The microorganisms that give Teddy's modern meatballs their distinctive tang are descended from the colony in this sandwich. <laughs> Love it. Alright, let's see if we can stick this up there. <laughs> wow, it sticks! That is one shiny nose. Almost as shiny as yours! Keep it up and you'll get a shiner too. Back for a little more public humiliation? Just a little more. Deal. All right. betting all 10 million and you only gotta bet one so you in or out here we go sure we'll bet a token huh. sorry Fido you lose the dog wins what I you you cheated me what are you talking about Leonard how did we cheat you pay up stick trauma mama why weren't you watching over me I'm ruined. <laughs> Let's go, Max. 
Leonard and his dead mother need some alone time right now. Yeah, let's go see if we can play Whack the Rats 10 million times in a row without passing out. <laughs> Sorry, Steak Charmer. Better luck next time. Sucker! Leave me alone. Hello, cuddly bear. Wanna play cards? Talk to you later. Wanna play cards? Now we can go back to Bosco. That is one shiny nose. And then we go by the listening device. I got an idea. There's over 10 million tokens here. We want to buy something. Oui, oui, monsieur. Okay, stinky pants. Here's your 10 million. By the sacred stench of St. Gainsbourg, these are not American dollars. No, but there are 10 million of them. Hmm. Well, the prize is that teddy bears can be quite useful. I accept. And in return, I give you the miniature listening device. This is a bug. Precisely. <laughs> Does this thing really work? Does this thing really work? That answer your question. Now listen up, maggots. I am a bug. Drop me in enemy territory and I will get all the information you need. You just make sure to pick me up again and I will repeat every word. Every word! We'll be putting you in some situations that could be a mite precarious. Think you can handle it? I was a non boy. You don't want to know what I've been through. They slaughtered ladybugs. Ladybugs! And that's not all. I seen them kill larvae. Larvae! Huh? So yeah, I think I can handle it. Now I need some shut eye before the mission. Put me in your pocket. In your pocket. Move, maggot. Sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I like this character. Listen, maggot. Don't bug me till you want to bug somebody else. You got me! So now we head back. Where are we going, Sam? Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Step right up, kitties. We got fun and games. Okay, so let's put the bug over by this guy. Aha! A one-armed bandit. Insert token to play. You're on fire. Still no prize. <laughs> We're wasting our money, Sam. Hold it. What's the password? This is you may enter. Aha! Did you get it all? Yeah, I got it. Now listen up. Here's what they said. Hold it. What's the password? That's gotta be what? A hundred times I've come through that door today, and you still don't recognize me? It's the bear heads, boss. They all look alike. <laughs> Leave the gun, take the cannolis. <laughs> you may enter. Now, get me in that pocket. Move! Sir, yes, sir. Give me the password. 
Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter. All right. This is it? Where's the food? Surely there's a buffet back here. Hey, look. That must be Teddy Bear. Where do you wise guys think you're going? Who, us? We were just browsing. We frown on that around here. I'm Chuckles, the casino pit boss. I've had my eye on you. Uh, how long have you been watching us? Long enough. Do I look any taller than I did ten minutes ago? Your win at poker was, shall we say, creative. Why, whatever are you insinuating? That was nice work. You also somehow got the password to let you into this room. Very clever. I'm impressed. The Toy Mafia can use guys who are long on brains and short on scruples. You interested? Hmm. What Mafia? Exactly. <laughs> I can't think of anything I'd rather do. At least not for the next five minutes. I've always wanted to be a thug. Officially, I mean. <laughs> the fact that you've already got your own animal costume shows great initiative. But before we can accept you into the family, there are two jobs I need you to do for us. Chuckle, bad news. The original meatball sandwich has been stolen. There are three jobs <laughs> I need you to do for us. What kind of jobs? Oh, the usual. I want you to lean on somebody, I want you to whack somebody, and I want you to recover a small item that belongs to us. Who do you want us to lean on? A local shopkeeper who's been refusing to stock our products. Take these special teddy bears and make sure he displays them on the sale table in the front of his store. No problem. The store is called Bosco's Inconvenience. Um, no problem. Who do you want us to whack? We're having trouble with a witness who refuses to see things our way. I want you to silence a certain Sybil Pandemic. Silence as in gag her? Gag her with a pistol. <laughs> you want us to kill Sybil? Make it messy as a message to other potential witnesses. We have her under surveillance, so we'll be watching. Yikes. Uh-oh. What is it that you want us to recover? It's that rotting old sandwich, right? The original meatball sandwich has great sentimental value to our organization. I want you to track it down before the disrespectful slime bag who stole it manages to fence it to some other lowlife. Sounds detective-y. Deal with the thief as you see fit. We'd like to preserve plausible deniability on this one. I think we've got it. Do these three things, Sam and Max, and you shall be as we are. Verbally overwrought? Members of the Toy Mafia. Oh, right. We want to talk to your boss. Nobody talks to Don Teddy Bear, the head of the Toy Mafia. Doesn't he get lonely? Except <laughs> other members of the Toy Mafia. Oh, that'd explain it. When can we talk to the big boss? Just as soon as you've completed those three little jobs I gave you. Does the carpet match the drapes? The drapes? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you about the drapes, my friend. Uh, no, that's okay. Maybe his hobby is interior decorating, Sam. Well, let's not chance it. <laughs> we'll be back. A word of advice, because I like you two. When you walk away from the Toy Mafia, watch your back. Damn. All right, ladies and gents, we're in the room, but we're not necessarily in the Toy Mafia yet. Now, uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Make sure you're subscribed on this YouTube channel if you want to see more. These episodes come out every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, four times a week. So uh, give that a shot. And if you want to see my live stuff, you can go to twitch.tv slash thevoiceofnick, where I do three live streams every single day, seven days a week. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.